football game yesterday. Behind all this, like maybe only 10 kilometers away from here, the war is going on where they, have, where they are in war with the M23 rebels. Yeah, and there is five in all of these refugee camps uh, around Goma um, with a lot of people in it. And we just drove by and this is really, I've been in refugee camps in Syria, etc. And this is uh, like the worst conditions I've ever seen. But yeah, you will see soon. Okay, here we're still at the refugee camp. We're just inside. There has been some heavy rain, but only like 30 uh, kilometers from here, the, they just told us there's a, a big war right now where they're fighting right now the Vasilendo against the M23. And uh, yeah, it's a big, big battle going on right now. And the Vasilendo is a rebel group which is uh, independent uh, from the military, but they are working kind of together, but they are not in uh, the war together because they actually don't like each other. But they have the same goal, they want to get rid of the M23. And it's all uh, Congolese refugees, even though we are in Congo. Yeah, uh, that's a war going on very close, so a lot of refugees has come here. And that's five camps and all. Uh, and it has been uh, raining a lot, so it's, uh, it's not making it easier for them. And I will just go inside the tent soon and see how bad the conditions are inside because outside here really bad conditions um, in this area it's the Pygmy tribes who yeah went here from their villages uh, because the M23 um, was uh, taking over there as well so yeah walking around here in the refugee camp uh, people are very nice but they have very very bad conditions here so it's uh, it's kind of sad to see Jambu, Jambu Sana, Jambu Sana. Yeah, as you see, very friendly. And here's how they live in here. I think maybe someone's sleeping. Jambu. Okay, so this was not the Embuti uh, pygmy tribe. They just look small. <laughs> uh, but we're going there now. This was uh, just like uh, normal people who was uh, getting away from the villages uh, outside Goma from the rebels. Uh, yeah, we'll visit more. It's a little, little hectic here, but it's a good experience. Uh, and also, yeah, something that you need to think about. Can you go inside? Jambo Sana. Jambo Sana. Oh, she's afraid. <laughs> she's afraid of my color, of my skin, and maybe tattoos. Uh, because she probably never seen a white man before. Okay, I made a little mistake because the pygmy tribe uh, don't want to be called uh, something I can't say now, but I will say it anyway. Mbuti, uh, because it's uh, offending, uh, which I didn't know because I was just reading about uh, the pygmy tribes. Uh, and their name here and uh, yeah when I mentioned and I mentioned their name they were kind of like mm? so yeah but I did this and I explained that I didn't know it was offended so that's why you need every time you go everywhere to explore you need to know what you are doing I thought that I knew what I was doing and uh, yeah apparently I need to research a little more but sometimes you already you only know it when you're on the place so yeah but they're still very happy so that's good. Jambosana. 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 Yeah, she was a little afraid. <laughs> yeah, look at these conditions. That's been raining a little bit. So even inside the houses or, or the tents here, it's uh, it's very wet, and they have any they don't have any sheets or anything. So they're basically sleeping on the ground. Uh, so UNICEF is helping, but I guess they could do a little better, right? 
a week or something. Mm, many pictures, yeah. But look at this beautiful area. In the background here, it's a jungle. And I said, said it before, maybe only like 15 kilometers away behind these valleys. There's a big war going on between the Vasilengus right now and the M23. Here they have a little shop or something like that. Uh, let's see, they're selling some beers and stuff. Hello, thank you very much. Uh, you speak English or not? Yeah, all of you. Oh, thank you. Because for me, on that kata. Uh, of you, I, I have uh, don't uh, I I so let me try that uh, I can speak. You can uh, speak in French. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm, that's okay. Je suis Tidoro Kamando Moise. Mm -hmm. Elia Bahati Baraka encore. Le ou sinon. My name Jonas. Yeah. Your name. Elia. Elia. Yeah, Baraka. Okay, man. Because of here. Yeah. So, on, I can speak in, in No problem, French, man. All right. No problem. You're, you're doing good, man. You're yeah. doing good. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so. Asante sana. We need to go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so me and Jake, we are here together. His last day here, he will go to Rwanda. Yeah. I'll try to go with the military of the Vasilendro to the front, or maybe near the mountain near Rangugo, which is closed for tourists. To see what's causing this, yeah. uh, this bunch up of people next to Goma. Mm. Yeah, Charlie didn't have a dance for nuanced a bit instead of with English. We have just visited this here. Camp her, så man, og man kan ikke se den nu, uh, men ja, vi får nok set en masse billeder af det alligevel. Og uh, ja, det er helt klart det værste, jeg nogensinde har set omkring flygtningelejre og noget lignende. Det kan ikke sammenlignes med noget, um, selvom jeg har besøgt flygtningelejre i Libanon, Syrien og uh, ja, uh, andre steder også. Og det her, det er simpelthen, de ligger på jorden og sover inde i nogen. Øh, telte, og der er regn, og der er vådt alle steder, og øh, de er udsultet, nogle af dem. Øh, lidt for mange, vil jeg sige. Så, ja. Det er ligesom om, det lige, det lige skal synkes lidt. Øh, jeg ser mange ting, men det her, det er alligevel, alligevel noget, der går, går ret dybt, vil jeg sige. Og nogle gange, så har jeg det øh, faktisk sådan der, og det er måske lidt dumt at sige, men så kan man godt føle, når man kommer hjem, eller når man er her, at man er virkelig taknemmelig, men man kan også på den anden side føle, at øh, hvorfor har jeg fortjent det her, hvorfor, jeg, eller, hvorfor har jeg fortjent mit liv, eller rettere sagt, hvorfor har de fortjent deres liv, sådan som de lever her på grund af, af krig og, og så videre. Ja. Eating worms right now in Congo. Hmm. Let's try.